Hey. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. It's vlog time. Um, all right. So, vlog slash video diary number two. From different location today. I'm just going to try, try them out, see how you guys like them. Um, okay, so day two, January 2nd, 2020. Um, still doing pretty well. I mean, um, I'm staying strong to my morning routine. Got up today a bit later than usual um, because I got up in the middle of the night um, thinking I had a blocked nose and then I ended up having a blood nose. So let me know if anybody else has issues with blood noses and what you guys do for them because bane of my existence anyway um so woke up a bit later but i did do my hour of cardio i journaled um and cooked my breakfast as per usual made sure i had lots of greens leafy vegetables because honestly i feel so 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 super fresh whenever i have vegetables I don't know if it's like a psychological or placebo thing, but it always feels better to have the vegetable. So I have a big bowl um, of literally just like the leaves, salads that you get from Woolies. Um, I chuck in a tomato, a full cucumber. Um, I actually put in a bit of smoked salmon. Well, smoked ocean trout because the macros, macros is like um, nutritional facts about the food um a little bit better than uh, smoked salmon not by much but like teensy weeny a bit um and then i chuck in two hard boiled eggs and drizzle some soy sauce in there and bob's your uncle i have a big ass salad um for brekkie like that yum it's so good and you can get a whole bunch of vegetables in there oh and there's some carrots as well some um, sliced carrots anyway so that was that that was really good um, and then wrote out my to-do list for today um, that I have somewhere hang on a minute my faves bag guys it looks deceivingly small but you can fit in here look at me go do Mary Poppins with me if anyone's seen Mary Poppins um it's my journal that I journal in every morning every morning I have to do it in the morning I know a lot of people do it at night sometimes but I prefer to do it in the morning because I'm a sucker for letting my thoughts ruin and dictate my day um and if I wake up in a foul mood or whatever um and i just don't get it out and i just let it stew in my brain my whole day is gone and i just end up not being very productive and i just continuously think about that thing so i just really prefer to just in the mornings um let it out you know and then kind of not force myself but kind of push myself to you know, I think of some things to be grateful for just to start off the day with a more positive um, and more of a grateful kind of mood. Um, yeah, it. I, I prefer mornings. It doesn't work for everybody, but it, journaling is really, really cool. Okay, so this is my to-do list. Um, so far, done pretty good. I've knocked a few things off. Oh, I forgot to cross out one more thing. So the last two things that I actually have to do is record this video, which I'm doing now, and do my second gym workout. And I'm going to be doing upper body today. Um, so basically, I aim to move as much as possible. Now, granted, I am on leave, so it's a lot easier to do that now. But 
I'm hoping um, the plan is to keep the same schedule. So do an hour of cardio in the morning and then after work do weights. Um, we'll see how long I can push that for because I know the last time I tried to do that, it was really hard. <laughs> I was really tired and it was winter, I think. So it was like really cold and hard so I'm going to try and really push myself to not make up any excuses this time around and we're really going to stick to it because yeah movement so so important um and then the last thing that I've kind of been procrastinating about and this is to do with my goal this year is actually creating a plan um for my work um, in terms of how I'm going to make that transition and whether I work remotely um, contracting from my current employer or whether I just completely kind of shut up shop but the biggest thing that I want to make sure when I do that um, and I think is really important something I've learned um, in the manager role is that a lot of people will I found have a lot of things that are not working it's easy to spot what's not working or what the problem is or if there is a problem the hardest thing is to actually come up with a solution for it so it's easy you know for example for you to go up to somebody and say hey like i have a problem with this this and this which is great it's phenomenal that you're able to identify that the next thing is to then say, okay, well, I know I have a problem with that. How are we going to fix this? How can we fix that? You know, and then go deeper um, because a lot of the time your managers or your friends or whoever that you're telling um, that you have a problem with something, they probably don't have a problem with that thing. <laughs> Otherwise they would have tried to do something about it. So I find that if you want to change something, this has turned into a little bit of a tip, but it, it works. If you are not happy with something, I find with myself anyway, when I'm not happy about something and I really want to change something, I make sure that not only do I identify the problem, I also come up with a solution and I offer them um, like a couple options. You know, oh, I don't like it when, you know, you make plans spontaneously let's say for example. Um, so it'd be great if I reckon what we could do is um, give me a week's notice or um, at least 24 hours, let me know something like that. I know that was a very basic example, which most of us do anyway, but kind of like that. So that's the mindset I'm going in to this whole work thing and how to quit it. So I want to make sure I go in there saying, look, I'm not happy with the situation, um, but I do have a plan of attack and how I think it's going to work for everybody. Um, and the main thing is going to be listening to what's important to everyone. Um, so yeah, I'm procrastinating on that a little bit because it, it's a little bit complicated, um, but I'm going to try knock that out probably not today just because I probably won't have time but it's on my procrastinating about right there procrastinating about um things so I'm going to try and make that plan over the next few days and then fine tune it so that by the time I get to work I have a kind of action plan in mind and we can start you know tossing around some ideas in the office to see what's going to work for everybody and how everyone feels. So that's kind of where I'm at. Um, yeah, something else I kind of wanted to share with you guys is something I've learnt recently. Um, I've been reading a book. I mentioned it um, on my Instagram stories, but a book that has helped me tremendously um, over the last literally two, three weeks. Um, it's called Five Personality Patterns by Stephen Kessler. Um, I'm someone that struggles with uh, reading people and just generally understanding um, 
I guess the emotional vibes or or energies and things like that so whenever I'm in a room you know I generally I'm that person that sticks to like facts and figures and it's and can come off a little bit you know disconnected or cold or straightforward you know um and I always found it really hard to kind of connect with people on an emotional level um so this book kind of really helped me understand a lot um what that is how people can perceive things how people can think um what well a lot about myself as well which I kind of always inherently knew in my head but found it really difficult to explain to people this book put it so beautifully honestly if you can't afford therapy and you need it I really don't want to be that person to say this but if you're thinking about therapy or if you're thinking that something is really not going right you know it's or sorry not going is going wrong in your life you're kind of really stuck and you're kind of always stressed, upset, or things aren't doing so well, um, i definitely give this book a read. Um, Five Personality Patterns by Stephen Kessler. Um, unbelievable book. Honestly, it blew my brain. Um, I felt like a newborn baby after it. Um, I even cried a little bit after reading a bit about myself in particular um because it was nice that somebody understood you on a pretty deep kind of level so yeah thought i'd just share that um if anyone likes generally reading about like psychology personality types things like that um and just generally digging around and understanding humans and how to communicate better and all of that i highly recommend um the book I'll put it in the description um, below the name uh, and the author for you guys as well. Um, so yeah, January 2nd, 2020, pretty good, pretty good. Done, done pretty well. See you guys tomorrow.